The thorough analysis of the origin of species, lesson 2, the family relation of the pigeon. Today, I will give you a lecture on the title, the family relation of the pigeon. I have said that the subject of the origin of species is species had not been created separately. In order to comprehend the meaning of this sentence, first of all, we have to examine how Charles Darwin used the word species in his book. When confronting his title, it gives us an impression that Charles Darwin is going to explain where life came from or how organisms were bigger. The exact meaning of a species is not extravagant like that. Taxonomists classify organisms in the order of kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. For example, biological classification of man according to the fashion of the above is as follows. Animals, chordates, mammals, primates, great apes, men, homo sapiens. Here, homo sapiens is just a terminology corresponding to species. The meaning of species is not life or organism, but it is a taxonomical terminology used in the last step of classification. This is confirmed easily in his description. Character of domestic varieties. Difficulty of distinguishing between varieties and species. Origin of domestic varieties from one or more species. Let's analyze this sentence. Referring to re reference 1, chapter 1, page 28, 8th line, Charles Darwin regarded individuals which God created originally as a true species and regarded individual which had been changed outwardly in the process of man's cultivation of plant and animal as a domestic variety. The previous title says that it is very hard to differentiate varieties from true species. It's because organic beings must be exposed to new conditions to cause any great amount of variation during several generations or geological time and because man's life is too short to detect the variations with the naked eye. The next is another example that species are used. In attempting to estimate the amount of structural difference between allied domestic races, we are soon involved in doubt from not knowing whether they are descended from one or several parent species. This point, if it could be cleared up, would be interpreting. If, for instance, it could be shown that the Greyhound, Bloodhound, Terrier, Spaniel, and Bulldog, which we all know propagate their kind truly, were the offspring of any single species. Here, if it could be cleared up, is equal to if we clear up the existing species that is originated from any ancestral species. He is using parent species in his textbook. It is a previous generation 
of the individuals we are currently observing. It is his point in this paragraph to make people know that there is no way to infer their ancestral species from the current individuals, although the existing species are hybrid derived from the crosses of them, and an expression single species was used in order to explain the realities that greyhound, bloodhound, terrier, spaniel, and bulldog were originated from the one species, even though the outward appearance of all hybrids is not alike. Referring to pigeon species, Korea, short faced tumbler, Bob, Pouter, Turby, Jacobin, Trumpeter, Leffer. He says, the number of the well defined pigeon species, including sub species, would be at least a score or more. And after investigating how their physical constitutions, beaks, habits of flying, coranculated skins, elongated eyelids, nostrils, feet, necks, wings, legs, tail feathers, and jaws of the individual produced by crossing them had changed. He had confidence that all cousin pigeons were originated from their common ancestor Columba Livia. In this place, Columba Livia corresponds to a single species. In the foregoing part, it was said that species does not mean life or organism, but it is a scientific terminology used in the last step of taxonomy to classify the living things. The cases that species were used to designate kinds of creatures are numerous in his book, but it is thought that two examples are enough to elucidate the usage of species. In case of necessity more, you can find as many as you wish in the reference. Finally speaking, it was elucidated obviously that Charles Darwin's species stands for the last step of taxonomical classification. Here I finished today's lecture. Thanks for your watching. Shalom.